My name is Luz Castaños. And where were you born? I was born in New York City. And what, what, what's your birthday? July 15th, 1929. And do you remember your first New York address? Yes, it was 328 West 14th Street, La Bilbaína. Tell me about your birth in La Bilbaína. Well, uh, I was born in my parents' bedroom uh, behind the restaurant proper. So I was literally born in the back of the restaurant. Hmm. That's between 7th and 8th? Yes, in the middle of the block. Underneath us, there was a grocery store, which later became Casa Moneo. But at that time, it belonged to someone else who's, I, do, I don't know them, I don't remember them at all, uh, but their name was Lupion, mm -hmm. and they owned the grocery store. And then Doña Carmen bought it from them. Doña Carmen was a distant relative of my father's. When I was a little girl in La Bilbaína, that I'd get up on the table and dance, and that when the Republic started, or not before the Republic actually came in, somehow I learned a song and I would sing it, and it made a lot of people very nervous. <laughs> but, uh, what song was that? Oh, Si los, espera. Si los frailes y curas supieran la paliza que les iban a dar, irían por la calle gritando, libertad, libertad, libertad. I sang that at two or one and a half, that's probably my earliest memory, yeah. if I think about it. it. Libertad, libertad, libertad. <laughs> In our family, there was a problem. Okay. My father was a Republican, and uh, as 99% of the Basques were, maybe 99.5. My grandfather always said he was not political. He had always preferred the socialist system but when we came here from Spain, everybody was trying to get him to say how terrible Franco had been to him. And Valladolid fell immediately, and nothing happened to anyone in our family, mm -hmm. in his family, right. or in my grandmother's family. So he couldn't say that. And he was kind of blacklisted. And that happened with many people. You know, just because they thought you were right wing, they cut you off. Or because they thought you were left wing, they cut you off. And it crossed families. I mean, Doña Carmen was the most right wing person in New York City. But she was my father's cousin, and I loved her.